Father Gordon says he's against the schisms, and he's pretty solid about it if you don't have a lot of wealth or children to give to him as a collateral, so to speak, or deposit. But, um, you know, he'll go behind his own teachings. He's got uh, Angelo's Restaurant hiring on the back of his bulletin. They are a schismatic. He does not stand up against the schisms on the pulpit or in public or at City Hall. He does not go to City Hall and try to get this town to stop doing their um, abortions and things. So we've really got, we've entered a time of heresy in many regards. And these priests, they say they're holy, but then you look, you really look at them. I know Father Flick, he talks a lot about things that don't even matter. A lot of his sermons are not based on scripture. They're based on these um, humanistic and uh, free conscience uh, things. He, he cites a lot from uh, atheist sources and tries to um, reel it into the faith. And we know that he's fallen astray. And maybe these priests shouldn't have even been ordained. And I consider that as well. Father Rappaport should have been ordained. He's a great priest. And uh, people don't want to listen to him because he's not the popular and, uh, y you know, sophisticated speaker like the other two are. But he's the real deal. And maybe that's why he was kicked out.